Welcome back to Hello Nigeria. Now it's time for us to switch to talk about fashion. The good, the bad, the ugly, the very, very ugly, if there were any. At the MVCS 2018, that happened over the weekend, Saturday night, here in Lagos at Eco Hotel. Now, joining me to have this conversation are two very amazing people that I respect in the industry. On my immediate right is the gentleman amongst us. His name is Dipo Ayo Adeosi. He's a style enthusiast, a style consultant, an actor, a TV presenter, and an online presenter for his show, The Style Embassy. He is a style concierge. Thank you so much for <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Alex. Thank and on my extreme right, the lady in red sitting on the red couch uh, yeah, is the creative wonder. director of Ovems, a fashion house that deals in all Can sorts like of Facebook outfits, wedding outfits, name it. Her name is Bowe Omoko. She was one of us until she decided to port. But now we decided <laughs> to bring her back to be a part of this conversation. Thank you very much for joining Thank us. Thank you so much, Ali, for having me. So it's good to have you both. First of all, how many of us attended the EMVCA? We attended online. Uh, yes, <laughs> attended online. Okay, That's I really attended. What it, yeah. And in fact, I think we should start out with my outfit and Leila's outfit. So we have mm. a list compiled. Mm. Now, Let's believe that this list was put together by Vowe and Dipo. I had no hand in this list. I did not nominate anybody in this list. We're going to look at the five best dressed and the five worst dressed people at the AMVCAs. But first of all, let's talk about what it takes to be a style icon. Dipo, you style people all the time, and yes. so do you as well, Vowe. You're a fashion designer. For events like this, give us an idea. What does it take to have that perfect look? You know, that very well put together look at the MVCAs. I think it's a combination of th three things, actually. Um, first of all, I'd say you have to consider your personality because, you know, the most um, effortless clothes, you know, the best pictures that you see exude confidence, and that comes from understanding your personality. And then you have to know um, your brand as well. You know, what's your stake at the event? Are you a presenter? Are you nominated? You know, that sort of thing. And then also you have to do your research because um, different, sh different events require you to wear different things, different occasions. So an event like the AMVC, which is an award ceremony, is a ceremonial um, event. And typically you should dress a little more grand, you know, for those kinds of events. And there's little codes that you can, you know, sort of adhere to. So you have to do your research. It's a combination of those three things. All right. So you are the one that go to meet the stylist, uh, the designer rather, yeah. to pull the clothes for your client. Designer, on the average, how long does it take for you to make a proper outfit for the AMVC? Is what you think is, what is the proper outfit for the AMVC and how long would it take you to make it? Well, for me, I'll... I'd like to tailor my outfits to the person, the, the, the celebrity or whosoever in question. I would want to look at, okay, like he rightly said, are you um, nominated? Are you just going there for oh, the glam? What, 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 what do you really want? So I need to know what my client wants, and then I, I'll be able to tailor what the dress would look like to that person. What, I want her to be comfortable. I want her to steal the show, of course. And so I, I, I think if you had asked me what you should look for or what you should think about before you wear a dress, it would be what he said, research. You want to go out, what do I want to look like? So you'd research on, okay, this is it, this is it, this is it. So, and then we can have a conversation. I want this dress. Why do you, okay, okay, we can tweak something. It's okay, I can create this. I, can, I, I like to sketch. So I'll show you things that would go in line with the event and you as a person. So you are not standing on the red carpet and you're wishing you didn't wear this dress. Okay, so we will go head that will dive into the fashion at the red carpet but before that we'd like to play one of our my favorite moments at the mvcas now this was when bisola ayola received her award <laughs> it was yeah. a moment that made me cry mm. it was a moment that made me laugh and i wasn't the only one that cried we expressed all sort of emotions mm. i want to say very big congratulations to bisola ayola for mm. winning the trailblazer of the year you deserve mm. every good thing that is happening to you you're talented you're hardworking, and the sky is indeed your starting point so enjoy this video of Bisola Ayola receiving her award. She didn't see it coming. She didn't know it was coming, but she had to give a speech. So take a look. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That 
was definitely a moment that I would forever remember. I would remember that for a long time. You know, I shed a lot of tears when I was, some tears. I was trying not to mess my makeup up as well. But let's go straight into the best looks for the year in VCS 2018. And of course, whilst I don't care what anybody says, <laughs> Leila Johnson Salami and yours truly were the best dressed for Hello Nigeria. So take a look at our outfits <laughs> and um, let's see what our style icons have to say. We have my picture and Leila's picture. So let's see. Uh, which one we have first. Okay, so this outfit I wore to the AMVCAs was made in four hours. Um, oh, wow. My outfit was made by... My outfit was made by Shop Esosa. Okay. Esosa Bridal as well. It was made in four hours. So, stylist, what do you people have to say about this? This is stunning. It's actually gorgeous. <laughs> I, know, I, 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 was, I was like, who? Hey, only please, don't put me in bad position. <laughs> don't put me in bad position. Oh, no, no, your outfit wasn't no, bad. No, 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 this is actually pretty nice. I like that it's simple. I always, my first go-to is classy, elegant, simple. And I like the detailing on the shoulder. I like the combination of fabrics. I love the fit. I think it's a really great outfit. Okay. I, yeah. Thanks. All right, so let's take a look at Leila's outfit as well. Leila was stunning in a jumpsuit, a black jumpsuit. Um, I, this doesn't capture the full essence, but I think we have a picture, a full picture of her where um, she it was a black see-through mesh sort of. I think that thing is called mesh. Okay. You know? There we go. Yeah. So, um, since we don't have... Yes, that is it. So, what do you think about Lila's outfit? Uh, um, she wore this for the awards. Yes. And this is Michael Hose Pierce. So, if you see anything while walking, if you see anything negative, <laughs> we walk you out. Yes, uh, <laughs> you don't see anything. Uh, <laughs> it's a very Ooh. beautiful jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. It's actually really, really beautiful, but maybe not for the AMVC. Oh, mm. really? Yeah. My sentiments, exactly. It's, um... Uh, no. <laughs> not for the AMVC. She could wear it for a, a wedding ceremony, a dinner with friends, um, any other classy event, but just it's the AMVCA. So you have to go sake. all out. You mustn't go all out, but let your dressing look. Uh, our, it's so, just a bit too it, casual. Yeah, it's, a bit it's, too, it's too, casual. too casual. Yeah. Okay, I would want to fight you, but I will not fight you. No, no, don't. But I hear sometimes that they say less is more. So I loved the fact that you know it was less. But let's. It was too less. Really? <laughs> now let's go to the worst dress list that Dipper and Voe oh, have. Wow, wow, wow. We take the worst first and then we take the best. Okay. Dipper says the first worst dress in no particular <laughs> order is Toka MacBarrow. Now Toka MacBarrow is a filmmaker and a producer as well. Mm -hmm. And Dipper said he's the worst dress. So let's see Toka's <laughs> picture. Now you can tell me why you think Toka was the worst dress. Of course. Um, if I remember correctly, it was a shirt and a wrapper, I think. Um... <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, you the <laughs> I think, I, I, if I remember correctly, that's what it was. Um, and I thought it was completely inappropriate. I, I mean, uh, you know, traditionally, when you go into an award ceremony, it's a tux. You wear a tux, you wear pants, you wear a nice shirt, a bow tie. You can deviate a little bit, but that's generally the essence of an award ceremony. It's... Um, it's sort of a dinner look, um, but you know. And if you want to do traditional, you can do traditional, but not in that sort of way. That's the best way to put it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, hey, last word. Unfortunately, we don't have Toka's picture, but mm -hmm. we should have Kemen. You okay. also put Kemen on the list as well. Yes, I did. I did. I put Kemen on that list. Um, <laughs> I get it. I get it. I, I know that there's a lot of reasons why people, you know, sort of work out. Um, and he, you know, has a great body and, you know, he's proud of it. But I think that um, is a place at a time for everything. And wearing just a jacket without any shirt and such, I don't, I don't know. If oh, that's... so the fact that he didn't wear anything inside. Yes, yes. And oh. I think he's wearing a pair of um, sneakers or, or something. It's just not appropriate. Maybe he thought he was not... going to watch a game. <laughs> oh, wow. Interesting. But it's, yeah. Okay, let's move over to the third person you have on your worst dress. You have Susan Peters on your worst dress list. What? Why is she there? Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't like the fabric, to be honest. Um, I didn't like the... Um, I thought it was a little bit too much. There was a lot of detail on the outfit, and I thought it didn't quite um, merge in the best way. It didn't work together seamlessly. Do we have Susan's pictures, uh, Susan Peters' pictures, please? 
Unfortunately, we don't have that as well. How about Eniola Badmos? What made her make it to the list? Again, you know, a lot going on. There's a lot going on. You have to understand your body. You have to understand what works for you. You have to understand, you know, what colors work with your skin tone. And I always advocate, again, for simple, classy, elegant. And you'll see that in the best dress list. So there's so much. I mean, the fabric in itself already carries so much. Um, when you try to do a lot of stuff with it, like the, sh the stuff going on on the shoulder, the sleeves. Is it I the mean, mesh thing that the you The mesh want? doesn't really work bad. with the outfit as well. And then I think it's a little bit too voluminous. Um, and I, I don't think that curvy women can't look great. So the fact that she's wearing this is, is, is not the best that she can do. I think she's looked better in the past, to be okay. honest. Last but not the least, let's speak about Bam Bam. Bam Bam is someone that generated controversy on social media. Now, I'm going to read something that somebody wrote. Style Territory said something about Bam Bam. She said, and I quote, she said, it is bold, unconventional, and bang on trend. The only reason people don't like it is because their minds can't comprehend it. So what if a dress is made out, made out of feathers? She put it off with the right dose of confidence, and I respect her more for that. But what do you make of this? I honestly agree with the confidence part. I think that she really owned it. If you look at all of the pictures, she looked like she didn't even care one bit. And I like that. If you're going to wear something, own it. It's great. However, the only reason why I'm not too keen on this outfit is because recently, very recently, um, Lady Gaga wore an outfit to um, the film festival. I think I want to say that it was the Venice Film Festival. I'm not 100% sure. Is that the Venice one or the Toronto International Film Festival? And it was literally almost like this, except... It was a bit different. Hers um, had sort of a, a tweak to it. You could see a cinch in the waist and all of that. This didn't come off as that. So I, it had no definition, more like? This didn't have as much of a definition. It might have worked better if there was a little bit of a break between the top part and then the skirt. So you could kind of see like a cinch in the waist. I do, I mean, the fabric is great. The feathers, I mean, it's great. It's just that it didn't work <laughs> in the best way, I don't think. Vowe, what do you think about that? Because she was also on your worst dress list. Yeah, she made my my worst dress list. I love Bam Bam. Uh, I think that she's daring. Mm -hmm. She's um, she's one person that has a very good taste in clothes. Mm -hmm. But this outfit, I it didn't do justice to her figure. She's a very beautiful girl. I was expecting to see all of that on the mm -hmm. red carpet. If maybe there was a lace at the top part and then the feathers at the bottom or something, not the whole thing. It's like, 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 like I told you, it felt like she rubbed the chicken off his skin and put it on. I was not here. <laughs> I was not here. I'm I mean, so her sorry. makeup and her, and her the hair makeup, The makeup great. was elegant. They the hair great. was elegant. It's just, I look at her and I look at, I just see chicken. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Since we're talking about her makeup and her hair looking great, let's move over to somebody's hair. <laughs> Who people criticize? Alex, unusual. Who came to the event with a black dress she and made a pink my, hair? She made my worst. Why did she make your worst list? list? Now, I personally liked her hair. I thought her hair was beautiful. It, it was It wasn't dairy. the hair that made my. It was the dress. Oh really? Yeah. I just. It didn't. It didn't do much for me. It was just there, and then the pink hair, the dress. I was. It was. It felt like a lot of commotion going on for me. First, I didn't really like the dress. It was just, for me, it was just there. It's not the fabric. The fabric was mm. okay. Mm. Alex's fabric was okay. The sequin, mm -hmm. it was fine. Uh, but the black sequin and then the pink hair. The pink hair. Deepa, what did you make of the pink it, hair? It just, it I, was I daring. Didn't, I didn't like it. I think there's a way to um, dye hair and make it look really classy. And this is where I would call, um, I would shout out my, my like friend, Dinola. And, you know, he recently dyed his hair gold for a little bit, and that was the perfect way to dye your hair. I think this wasn't exactly the classiest look in terms of the hairstyle. I do disagree with the dress. I think the dress is really stunning. I love the I color, love I it. love the fit. I, in fact, I disagree but... with everything. I love the dress, I love the hair, and I can totally rock that on a night. I no, think the hair... I think my disagreeing with the hair is because I've seen her in something better. Okay. Okay. You All know, right. I've Since... seen her in something better, and I, and I felt... Coming to the AMVCS, I was maybe it was my expectation. Maybe I felt if she could do that for a photo shoot, then 
the AMVCA she should totally stun. All right, we've run, we're running out of time. Unfortunately, I'm sad that we focused on West without concentrating on best. Let's look at your best list. Vowe, your best list uh, made, the people that made it to your best list are Rita Dominic, CC, Lily Affair, Steph Nikoka, and Dala Opuari. So let's talk about, which of them would you like to talk about real quick? Which stood out the most for you? Uh, that would be... <sighs> so you have Rita Dominic, CC, Lily Affair, mm. Steph Nikoka, and Dala Opuari. Can I choose to? Okay, choose to. Okay, that would be Rita Dominic and Sissy. My bias with Sissy's outfit is because I love, 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 love Larry da Silva. And she killed that dress. She nailed it. Mm. It was perfection. Mm. The, the feet, the, the feathers. She used feathers mm. just at the base of the dress. It's, oh, wow. Oh, I didn't even notice that she used feathers. That was feathers. on my yeah. dress specialist list as well. Yeah. Stunning. Really this, stunning. This is stunning. And then Rita Dominic made that list because she was effortlessly elegant. That's exactly the Are word. you serious? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There was no drama. The, 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 was it not the, a little the, too simple? No, 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 She's a stunning no, 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 woman, though. No. Everybody was no. waiting for Rita Dominic's outfit. Mm -hmm. We exactly. kept waiting to see oh, Rita Dominic. And then she just came in everywhere. looking all well. This is me in her blue dress. This is me in my blue dress. And she, she, oh God, she walked with grace. The fabric was so much poise. Yes, I love it. the fabric, the fabric was gorgeous. And then the ruching at the top of the fabric, the the top of the dress. Excellent, just sweet, okay. just sweet. So let's look at Toby's, um, at, I beg your pardon, Deepo's list. You have Toby Bakre, mm -hmm. you have Bobby, Ruta Dominic, of course, mm -hmm. Dakori, and Sisi. Okay. So, you see? So I'll, I'll, I'll talk <laughs> about the other both two. Of you and me, <laughs> Sisi and Ruta Dominic. Yeah, yes. but I'll right. talk about the other two that um, haven't been mentioned. I'll talk about Dakori and Toby. Starting with Toby, I'm so proud of Toby. Um, so, so proud of him. Um, you know, He's someone who I think has a lot of promise. I think that he's aware of what's going on in society. And I think he dresses the part. He takes himself seriously. On one hand, he's really goofy and he's really funny. But on the other hand, he's a very, you know, um, very well-intentioned, very focused young man. And he looked really, really great. The thing about it is a lot of people try to do patterns and do um, all kinds of different colors because they think that it's boring to do the simple black tux or white tux or blue tux. But I think that there's something so elegant about that, going traditional in that way. And his blue looks very vibrant. The um, proportions, the jacket, the way that the pants sit perfectly on his shoes just worked perfectly. And then Dakori, I mean, if you don't want to do simple and elegant like Rita Dominic, <coughs> this is how you go. Mm. It's a yeah, theme. Yeah, this was a stunning theme. It looks like a butterfly. Exactly. Yeah. And she stuck to that butterfly Theme yes. and it worked perfectly. The colors um, worked seamlessly together. And she placed it to the right. Dakori, it was yeah. almost like yeah. a butterfly. I really like that yeah. picture. Yeah. It was the really last great. picture of Dakori that we saw. She looked really like nice. she she the colors were all working together. Yes. It was such a beautiful picture. Yes. I mean, when um, when Jadio Osiberi was called up to come get her award and Dakori went on with her, I'm like, who is that beautiful butterfly? Yeah. She looked yeah, really she good. Yeah, she looked really That's good. Exactly what it was. Thumbs yeah. up to the designer. He did yes. a good job. Thank you so much, guys. Well, I have something against him. Toby was wearing a blue suit. Yeah. Same thing as Kemen. Come on, it's just a shirt. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> we'll continue this conversation. Right. Okay. <laughs> We've had two style people. We had a style consultant and a designer joining us to look at the AMVCA's best and worst of 2018. Thank you so much for joining us, Thank guys. You so much How can me. people follow you on social media? Uh, you can follow me at Dikpo Ayo Adeusi. That's D with two eyes, Ayo Adeusi. All right, and how can they follow you? Mine is quite simple. For five little words, OVMs, O V E M S, at O V E M S. Do you style only men? I style both men and women, actually. There's a few other So, why have you not yet styled me? Ah, I saw that coming. We will be wrapping up this conversation so Dipo can answer to the question why he has not styled me yet. But we'll join you again same time tomorrow. Thank you very much for joining us. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. Follow me at Oliver Muddy. So we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a fabulous Monday. Bye bye. To enjoy more of this, our Ubunke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.